Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is coming to Kickstarter called One Card Wonder. This is a two to six player resource management game designed by Nathaniel Levan and published by Ape Games. Like Monique said, it's coming to Kickstarter soon and we're gonna be doing a playthrough. That's right. And so in this game, we are going to be racing to build our wonder. Mm -hmm. And so these wonders are based off of the human made architectural wonders around the world, such as the Pantheon. We have the Statue of Zeus as one of them. And so like Naveen said, this is mainly a resource management game. Mm -hmm. but it plays very quickly and whoever builds their wonder first wins yep. but before we begin we do want to mention that this is a prototype copy of the game so things may be subject to change in the final copy and if you are interested in learning more the kickstarter is launching on april 20th so we will include a link to the campaign down below now before we begin if you can all do us a big favor and turn on your click on subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes we can make those corrections there we'll also add them to the description hopefully we won't need them and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future please consider subscribing and with that, we are going to get started. So if you please direct your attention to the side of the table, we are all set up here for a two-player game of One Card Wonder. As you can see, we each already have our wonders chosen in front of us, as well as our player mat that dictates the different actions we can take, as well as our storage supply for our resources and coins. Mm -hmm. Each player also has their own supply of four obelisks, which we are going to be using to build buildings. And we also have our leader card, which is a mini expansion that we will be discussing later. And so like we were mentioning, over the course of the game, we are going to be gaining resources in order to turn them in to construct our wonder. Each wonder has their own kind of asymmetric way to build them mm -hmm. that uh, costs an asymmetric number of, of uh, resources. resources. Yep. We each also have a certain array of buildings that we can build on our turn, and whoever completely builds their wonder first is the winner. As at the start of the game, there is a little bit of setup that goes on because there are 14 different wonders that the game comes with, as well as these 12 different player mats. And the player mats are slightly asymmetric in the different buildings that you can build. And players also draft these wonders according to uh, turn order, as well as the different resources that you start the game with. And so the way that the game works is players are going to be taking turns, taking one action each. And there are four different actions that you can take on your turn. All of them are listed on your player mat. Before we get into the different actions, let's just first talk about the wonder and the anatomy of a wonder card. My wonder differs from Naveen's in the way that the requirements are listed at the top here. Each wonder consists of 10 different levels, but the order in which you build these levels, as well as the resource requirements, are different. And so the general rule is you must first build the base of a column before you can build the levels that are on top. So if I were to build this level right over here, I would first have to build these two levels, which first require me to build these bottom levels. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like a pyramid structure. Exactly. And there are these tiny arrows that are kind of pointing, leading into the different levels. And so you just basically have to build them in that order. Yep. On our wonders, we also have these two different support buildings at the bottom, as well as the four buildings that are listed on our player mat. And these are going to be buildings that we can build as the game progresses that will help us do things better yep. or give us immediate benefits. And so now let's discuss the different actions you can take. The first type of action is producing. And so producing allows you to pull three resources from the resource bag. And the number of each uh, resource in the bag is dependent on the player count. And so of the three resources that you pull, Two of them you get to keep, and the third one you must place in its corresponding position here in on the supply board. Mm -hmm. And so anytime you gain resources, you must keep them at the top here where you have room for eight resources. Coins, by the way, are not considered a resource, but you must still keep them in that supply area. And these are used as a wild resource for fulfilling levels or for any buildings that require coins. Mm -hmm. The next type of action is called claim. And so claiming allows you to take all of the resources of one type from the supply. And so over the course of the game, as we continue to produce on our turn, we may be um, building up more and more resources on the supply board. And mm -hmm. so this is a way for us to gain those resources. Exactly. The third type of action is building. And so this is the meat and potatoes of the game. Building allows us to build our wonder. And so you can build any number of levels as long as you follow the rule as to the order that you're going to be building your wonder in, right? Yeah. yeah, so you can complete multiple builds in one building action. That's right. And so had I taken a claim action in a previous turn and taken these two from the supply, then now when it comes back to me, if I were to take a build action, I could technically build, I could build this first level down here that requires an orange and a green. And then I could also build the one right next to it, which requires just one orange. And so for each level that I've completed, I place one of these uh, cubes there to show that it's done. And these go back into the bag. Whenever you take a build action, you're also allowed to build one of your buildings. This is optional, but this can also be built instead of building a wonder. Mm -hmm. In order to build it, you just turn in the resource that's required and then you gain the benefit. And the benefit is either going to be an immediate benefit, like my storeroom here, which lets me immediately place one of each resource here, 
once per turn when building, I can use one of them. Mm. These are going to vary from player mat to player mat because they're all asymmetric. But some of them also improve upon other actions. So if I were to build my hearth, my hearth here, uh, whenever I sell, I can sell a green resource at a one-to-one -one ratio, which will make sense in a second. And other buildings give you a new action. So like my forum here, this gives me a new action just for me that allows me to exchange two of any resource for two matching resources. So that's just kind of an example of the different buildings that you'll see. But every time you build a building, you must place an obelisk on that building. So as you can see, we only have four of them, which means two of these buildings are not going to get built. Mm -hmm. And I do want to mention that in order to win the game, you don't have to build any of these buildings. The literal goal is just to complete your wonder. The whole 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, the final action is the sell action. And so this allows you to return uh, resources to the bag. You have to return matching resources. Mm -hmm. So two of the same resource for one coin. Exactly. Yep. And so that's just a way for you to gain more coins. That's the only way really of the basic actions for you to gain coins. And again, these can be used as a wild resource. And that's pretty much the entire game. As soon as somebody builds their wonder, then they win. Uh, I, we do want to mention that we are going to be playing with the uh, mini leader expansion. Mm -hmm. And so the way that this works is each of us is dealt a hidden leader and uh, each leader has a, an ability on it. So at any time during the game, I can decide to flip over my leader to use its ability. Uh, in addition, there's also a combat requirement at the bottom that, um, that'll say something like spend four resources. And so all of my opponents can spend those resources in order to say, no, you are not allowed to use that ability. Yeah, you can basically all chip in together in a higher player counts mm -hmm. and basically negate that action. But if you do do that, then Monique or whoever is trying to reveal their leader gets to claim all those resources for themselves. Yes. And so that's it. That is yeah. it. It's, it's pretty simple, straightforward. We're just going to do a little bit of cleanup and then we're going to get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the board. We have laid out some of these wonders and now we have to figure out who goes first. Ready? Yep. Oh, it's you. Okay, I go first. So that means Monique gets to choose the wonder. Yes, I get to draft my my, uh, my wonder here because mm -hmm. there's one more than the number of players. And these are random resources, by the way. So we have the mausoleum here that has an orange and a green. Yeah, so knowledge and uh, clay. That's nice mm -hmm. because those are the bunch of the colors that it, that is needed already. We have the statue of Zeus. Um, has iron and knowledge. And we have the Longman grottos here. Oh, this is an interesting uh, configuration. configuration. Yeah. But none of the, <laughs> none of the starting resources that are needed. No. I'm going to take the Statue of Zeus. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draft that. Which one would you like? Although Longman Grotto is a cool looking design, the starting resources do not match up. So I'm, I'm going to go with the mausoleum here. All right. Yeah. So this one's out. Out. These two resources will go back in the bag, mm -hmm. which is now uh, completely set up for a two player game. And uh, Naveen and I both have our buildings. So we are going to choose one out of these two. Yes, that's right. All right. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. The other one goes back into the box. Yep. And I get this one. All right. So shall we reveal them? Sure. Yeah. Since you're going first, do you want to talk about yours? Yeah. Okay. So I have a uh, trading places. So this one uh, looks like it allows me to convert different things. Um, so I'm looking at this market here, which I will most likely try to build in the future. We'll talk about it then. Nice. But it's a lot more conversion, converting and hoarding kind of things. All right. So I have the memorial uh, player board. And so uh, I have a couple of buildings here that will allow me to sell for a better exchange rather mm -hmm. than two matching resources i just have to give in two resources sure my stone cutter lets me build by paying one stone less once per turn which is going to be awesome because a lot of my wonders require stone so there are a few things that are kind of going for me here okay. with this one so our starting resources go into our supply yep. and i think that's it i think we're ready to begin yeah, we it. also each have our secret leader which we will reveal when the time is right yeah that's right I don't know, okay. Am I. <laughs> yeah okay so Naveen is going first. Would you Me. like to kick us off? I will kick us off. Okay, so there's nothing out there. Uh -huh. I need to get it going, so I'm going to produce first. All right, there you go. So let's take three cubes. Three resources. Three resources <laughs> represented by cubes. Yeah, so we have knowledge on there. Knowledge, knowledge is a resource here. Take that back. Okay. And okay. Hmm. So you get to keep two. One is going to get, get kicked back onto the supply over there. So, so seeing as uh, none of these <laughs> are what I need, <laughs> you need green. So I'm going to keep green for okay. myself. Uh, and I know you're going to need this, so I'll take that and then leave that with you. Wow, that was nasty. Uh, nasty yeah. reasoning. It was nasty. It was a nasty bull. <laughs> so, what can I do? All right, well, I will try my hand at producing as well. So, Something let's good. see. Hopefully, I get the stuff that Naveen, <laughs> Naveen needs. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so, kind of. huh. I definitely need stone. Well, let's get the green one out of the way, because this is a one level of my wonder that needs two green. Right. And then, uh, let's go with stone. Yep. 
Let's just do it. So we're gonna put uh, wood into the supply. So now it goes back to you, Naveen. Uh, you know, I'm gonna produce again. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm gonna see, just um, gonna leave um, this bag open. Somewhere central, yeah, somewhere close. Yeah. Uh, just in case you're wondering, there are, in a two-player game, six of each type of resource in the bag. Yes, so you can always kind of count, kind of count yeah. what's missing, right? Okay, so yes, I will definitely want this because that's what I need there. Wood I need to get working on over here. And unfortunately, I'm tossing stone, stone. back, which is very needed on Monique's board. But For me. What can I do? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, do we build now? All right, I'm going to build. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm first going to build a couple levels on my wonder. So I'm going to build this one right in the middle here that re that costs two uh, knowledge cubes. So those will go out. I'm going to place that right there. So now that I built this level of my wonder, I can now build the one right above it because that is where the arrow is pointing. The other two that are adjacent to it are independent. So I can build those as well. So I will. I'm going to build this one here that requires one stone and place one right there. Okay. And in addition, I'm going to build a support building. So I'm going to build a stone cutter because it's nice. It costs me a, um, a, an iron. Yep. And it says that when I take a build action, I can pay one less stone once per turn. Ooh. So I'm assuming that's starting with my next build action. Yes. So I'm just going to go ahead and place my obelisk there to show that that's been built. And now I do have that, uh, that ability for the rest of the game. That's it. Pretty good. Uh, so wow. You. Okay, so I'm gonna build also. Uh, okay. I'm gonna build going this way. So this one first with the two clay. Okay. That's gonna put this here. That unlocks the arrow going into this two knowledge. So I will build the double knowledge. Uh oh. All right. And Any... just I know we haven't mentioned it, but you cannot piecemeal build. You must be able to pay for it all at once. That's right. And uh, I will. This vault is nice. It allows you to hold four additional resources. But right now, I'm not in that situation, so I'm not going to spend these resources there. Okay. Yep. So that's it. That's me. All right. So back to me. I'm going to produce because I don't claiming only allows you to take one type of resource. So yeah. it's like either I take two or I take one. So. Here's my three. Ooh, oh, two green, which are useless to you. Green is slightly useless. Stone is nice. Let's do stone. Let's okay. do stone and a green. Yep. That was a, that was a pretty easy decision there. Sure. I'm so. going to produce as well. Okay. Yep. There you go. Come on, pull something I need. I want you to put something into the supply that is already one of those colors. Oh, blue. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, this. <laughs> uh, do you need clay? You do need clay. So, all right. I'll put this one there. Okay. I was going to say, you only have blue or blue to choose No, from, I was thinking, so. do I toss back the clay? But, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to produce. And let's see what we can find here. So I have two green and I, oh, well, I'm going to keep the clay because as Naveen pointed out, that is something I need. And I guess I'll keep a green. So there's that. Okay, I'm going to claim. So I will claim the iron. Wow. Bring them to me. I was debating building one more time, but uh, I think I'm going to produce just one more time to see what we can get. Okay. before we actually do that so oh here we go so i'm gonna keep the stone and the clay and toss back the blue too bad that was one <laughs> turn short for you yeah <laughs> no dang it okay uh, i'm gonna claim again i'm gonna take these two green knowledge tokens wow and now you are full i'm full yeah. i sense some selling i'm in thinking about selling yeah all right well i'm gonna build okay so there are a few things that i can do i'm definitely going to build my wonder a couple of times and one building Ooh. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's build a support building because I really like this one, Mastaba. It says when I take a claim action. Oh, actually, that's not that great because <laughs> mm. there has to be clay in there for me to do this first. Yes, because you would have to claim from here and then you can take from the bag. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, let me build my wonder first and then we'll talk about the buildings right after. Okay. So I'm going to build this level. This just requires one clay okay. right there. So gotcha. there's that. Uh, the one above it requires a clay and a stone, so I think I'll do the clay and the stone, just like that. So you do have the uh, I stone do, card. which I'm going to do for this ah, okay. middle one. So that's for this. And then, like Naveen was mentioning, I have the stone cutter, which says I, I once per turn I can pay one less stone. So I'm going to use that on this middle wonder you, right there, okay. spending one stone instead for that one. You're halfway home. I'm halfway home. That's it. We um, need we need uh, five more <laughs> until this is done. Oh, no. But I'm also going to build my podium. Okay. So this is a support building. It requires two of any resource. I'm going to spend these two green. And it says immediately when build, I can take either one coin, two stone, or three clay. I'm going to take the three clay. Here's one, two, and... From the bag. The third one will be from the bag. There. There's my third clay. I, I kind of think maybe I should have taken the stone, but what can you do? So these all go back into the bag, 
and I'm gonna place my obelisk right there to show that I built the podium. And that's me. Back to you. Okay, well, seeing as you have all that stuff, uh, I'm gonna build my tomb here. That's gonna be iron and um, stone. Yep. And that builds this. And it says, immediately each opponent loses one coin or two resources. That is so rude. It needs to be done. Remember. So rude. And there's, a, there's a clear justification. I need that clay and supply. I can't have you hoarding it until you get up to that level wow. where you can turn it in. I need it I need it back in the supply for that me. That was terrible. So that was that build. Uh, that's it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had to do that. You didn't build your wonder? No, I had to stop you from hoarding that stuff. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm going to produce. Let's try to uh, right the wrong that you just caused. Yes. <laughs> so let's see. Aha. Okay, so I, I do have one clay. Let's just take it. One clay and one stone. There you go. Just like that. More and, uh, iron. iron. Goes in there for you. All right, I'm going to produce. Okay. Yeah. You're going right. to produce? You have so many resources. I would like to build all at once, like a bunch of building, you know? Like, I don't want to build one at a time, so. Okay. Okay. Good luck to me. Oh, not good, Monique. This is nothing that I need. I think you need to, to build a little bit at a time. I don't think the game is meant for you to just... Ten levels of wonder well, <laughs> in one turn. <laughs> I'm I've been looking for wood for a very long time. I don't want to have to go and claim one turn. And you might wait. have to. Yeah, so. All right. We'll go one, one. Give that back since green is technically nothing to you. All right. All right. So back to me. Mm. I'm just going to claim. Oh, I'm going to claim this one wood. Good. I just need the wood. I took the wood. There you nice. go. So okay, to I'm, I'm going to build. So I'm going to build my building first. This is the lumber yard. It costs one knowledge. Okay. So that goes out. And what this is, is whenever I sell or build, this can happen once per turn, use one resource in place of another resource. So I have one wild resource that I can do. So nice. uh, now that I have that unlocked, I'm going to do it right now. So I need to get this wood <laughs> there. So I'm going to represent this stone to represent that other wood. Okay, okay, perfect. So that's there. So one. And then now we're just going to wait. <laughs> so that's <laughs> it. But I was able to build two things at once. So okay. that's me. Selling might be in your future. Uh, might be, yes. Because well, you could sell two pairs. You could sell both pairs for one coin each. Well, th this requires two coins specifically to cap off my whole thing. So mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. I'm going to build. So uh, let's build some levels of the wonder. I'm going to just say, I'm going to forgo the buildings right now and just go, go for it with my wonder. Okay. So for this uh, level right here, it requires a clay and a stone. Clay and stone. I think I'm going to just spend one clay because of my stone cutter. So that is the one time per turn that I can forgo the stone. Mm -hmm. uh, for the level right above it, these two require a stone and a wood each. So I'm gonna do a stone and a wood nice. just for the rightmost one. Nice. And then uh, the one above that nice. requires one clay. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that in for that oh, right no. there. And so in order for me to build the topmost one, I need to have built both of these yes. right below it, which requires both of these in that column to be built. So. I need to work on that a little bit more, but we are almost there. You're, yeah, you're, oh man, okay. <laughs> Build in the wonder. I'm going to produce. Okay. Yeah, come on. Make sure I, you shake that bag. I need to pull some serious clay. <laughs> Seriously. Three clay. I need three clay. Three clay. One clay. One clay is better than nothing. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, you need wood. I do. You need stone? Oh, but you I have a need, stone discount. Though, yeah, so that... I really don't need stone anymore. It's looking like I just need clay. Yeah. Which I now regret not waiting to activate the, the podium time. until now. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, you activated it, but then I just took it away with that when I did my tomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was not a good moment. Yeah. That's, All right. That's me. I'm going to produce. I hope I get uh, wood, wood and clay. No wood clay. And Zero clay. Two. Oh wood my god! Clay. Here we go. Dang it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one wood and one clay. Yep. The other wood will go into the supply. Shoot. Back to you. Okay, so I'm gonna build. Uh, let's go ahead and build. So these two will represent that uh, top one right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, this this uh, center one. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and then now I have a structure here that can now build up to here. So I'm gonna use my uh, my one time ability, which is turn in any other resource to represent one other one. So I have the knowledge and uh -huh. then I have wood that's gonna represent that clay that's needed over there. Perfect. Okay, so that's there. It's pretty close. It's getting close, but I need some some specific pulls in the future. Eight. So Naveen only has eight levels to his wonder, whereas uh, a lot of the other ones have 10. Mm -hmm. So it's 
probably because it's a, maybe a little bit harder the feeding in is, for you yeah, to, it's a little tougher. to build yours. Yeah. Exactly. So we're, we're a little bit uh, head to head here. We only need three each. Three each. Yes. All right. All right. So that's it for you? That, that's me. You're not going to build a building? Uh, no. No. All I, right. This requires a coin. This requires the clay that I so desperately need. So, uh, <laughs> just, yeah. Well, let's go hunting for clay. Okay. I'm going to produce. Uh, and if anything, maybe I could even just sell for a coin That's true, if yeah. I don't get the clay that I need. One clay. Why? I've got one clay oh, no. and one green, and this will go into the supply. This goes back to you. All right, I'm going to claim. I'm going to claim okay. the uh, two green here. Smart. Yeah. Very good. Need it. I, uh, I was thinking about that, seeing as I have Some that green. one green. Well, yeah. here we go. If I can Are you draw producing? this last Don't clay, do I'm producing. No. I can draw one clay. No clay. I'll be in good shape. Oh. There she is. Is it, okay. a, is it a destruction of me? So there's the clay that I need. Uh, and this is going to go into the supply. So there's a lot of stone for you if you'd like stone. <laughs> just, just saying. Oh, no. The writing's on the wall. <laughs> Well, I'm going to make this look respectable. Uh, I'm going to sell. So okay. I'm going to sell these two, uh, these two sets for two coins. Okay. So one, two. Just like that. That's me. All right. Let's go back to the bag. And I am going to... You're going to wrap it up? Play, I'm going to do my final build action <sighs> to build out the rest of this wonder. So hard. So the first thing is going to require a stone and a wood, but because of my stone cutter, I don't have to pay the stone. I'm just going to pay the one wood. Well, I... I have a stone. You have it. So let's just well. do it. Stone and wood. Don't there you go. The, um, the one right above that requires one clay. So there's the one oh, clay. The clay. And then to top off the statue of Zeus, we need to turn in two clay. So here's ah, that. And right there we have a fully built wonder. Well done. A completely built statue of Zeus. Well, we didn't use our leaders. We didn't. No. I almost, I actually almost forgot about them. Yeah. So had we revealed our leaders, would you like to show yours? Yeah, mine was Hannibal and it says oh. take an extra turn immediately. So Why didn't you do I that? wanted to on this next turn because of, with the coins, I was going to then turn and burn and try to do it. But I didn't realize that when you pulled the two clay, I think it was over for me. And so my leader was uh, Sappho. And so if I were to have flipped this card over, it says I can perform each action, produce, claim, build, sell once in any order. Wow. Uh, Naveen would have had to pay two coins to combat that. That would have been probably a good one <laughs> to do, but we played it so quickly. Yeah. So we didn't need the leaders. So anyway, that is a one card wonder. As you can see, it is, it is pretty quick to play. Mm -hmm. uh, you can play this with up to six players, like yep. we were saying. You play up to six players, and so there is an element of the game that we are not able to do in a two-player mm -hmm. game where you can actually trade and negotiate yeah. amongst your uh, opponents. And so nothing is binding, but that definitely adds an extra layer. And then, of course, with the uh, leaders, everyone can contribute to counteracting somebody's leader. Yes. So that also becomes a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. So the leader's expansion is, is probably a lot more... Uh, effective in higher player counts. Mm -hmm. So is the supply board because yep. as we go around, you know, people are going to be producing because that is probably the main action of the game besides building. Right. And every time they produce, they have to kick one back onto the supply board. In a two player game, it's just this kind of back and back forth, and forth that, yeah. that we did, but in mm -hmm. higher player counts, and it's going to be a lot more dynamic. Yeah. So, and the bag is seeded with, of course, more resources depending on the player count. Yes. So there's just a little bit more in flux. And again, they are going to Kickstarter on April 20th. So if you have any questions about the campaign or about anything that we did today, as well as how to play the game, please feel free to leave a comment down below and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.